I would define Islamism as the manifestation of the faith in society and in the state. So it is the idea or the notion that Islam is not just a faith. It is the basis of, of a state. It is the basis of political legitimacy, of legislation, of it's a frame of reference for society, a basis for identity. That's obviously very different from being a mere faith. That definition of Islamism, if you'd like, has been really the norm in the Arab world, in uh, Persia, today's Iran, in Turkey, for centuries, up until the end of the 18th century or early 19th century. From that period on, that greater or wider Middle East, as I call it in the book, got a shock, if you'd like, which was the exposure to modernity, and especially Western modernity. And what Islamism, the book, is trying to do is to look at the experience of this wider Middle East, the Arab world, Turkey, and Iran or Persia, in the last 150 years, trying to see the different attempts, the different projects that were coming from Islamists or from secularists that are basically trying to find a solution to this role of religion in society, in the state. Many of these projects and attempts failed. Some had some successes, but that's the thread, if you like, of the book.